Hey, it's Andy here. Just a quick riff on what's going on in the markets and the economy. Uh, obviously, we've had some good numbers out this week. Uh, tomorrow's a big day for the CPI numbers coming out on Wednesday. We'll see what happens there if we get an acceleration in inflation. Because why? Why do we care about that? Because bonds have gone up in yield significantly. So the market had been very, very focused on this and people in the economy and in banking overall uh, because there has been anticipation of the $1.9 trillion stimulus plan, uh, which should get approved by the House and sent over to uh, the president to sign this week. And we have seen bond yields shoot up and that put a big question mark over some of this rambunctious, crazy activity that's been in the tech stocks. Um, and so those have come off significantly. I mean, Tesla gave up 40% of its value in like three weeks. So it's been crazy. Now, I know it rallied 20% today, but like, holy smokes. I mean, when you go from 883 down to 539 in a really short period of time, that's breathtaking. And all of the tech stocks, to some extent, have sunk um, on the back of rising yields. But David Tepper yesterday uh, and CNBC came out and said, you know what, just back off for a second. We think bond yields have hit a peak. And indeed, he was correct. They went to 160 on the 10-year. They went down to 154 today. And boom, we had a big rally in the tech stocks. Big, I mean, like 4% in the NASDAQ and 20% in Tesla. That's pretty crazy. We also saw, again, a little bit of a rotation out of value into tech kind of reversing what we've seen in the past. But this kind of bounce, you should see when you have such a large sell-off. Um, and this sell-off has gone across the world. China's stocks have gone down significantly. Uh, the Shanghai index, as a matter of fact, some of the companies there are actually buying their stocks to kind of prop up that index a little bit. But the bottom line is this, when you see interest rates come lower, then you got a shot at having uh, stocks hold in there. And that's indeed what we saw today. Now, there's a lot of rock and roll that's going on. Again, let's take a look at you know what's going on tomorrow as far as CPI goes, and then we'll know more. By the way, quick note on a really hot topic, SPACs, right? These are the special purpose uh, uh, investment vehicles that are out there. This is a way for a essentially a PE company to buy a, a, a company and, and take them public through the SPAC, right? So these things have, have gone nuts, right? They've, they've gone up so much. Uh, it's kind of extraordinary. And what we're seeing from that standpoint is this. There's been about like 156, I want to say, uh, over the last 12 months. But here's the thing about it, right? So this is what you want to keep an eye on two things. One is they've come off significantly from where their peaks were. And number two, eventually the companies that have gone public have to provide an outlook or guidance for the upcoming year. And you can make up almost about whatever you want to say uh, when you're combining, pro, you know, and, and you're going public through the SPAC. But actually, when you come through um, and you have your quarter to quarter uh, investor meetings, that's when the rubber hits the, meets the road. And you actually have to come clean about what you think you're going to see in 2021 and in 2022. So that's what you want to keep an eye on uh, going forward for a lot of these SPACs and whether or not they give guidance that's just nowhere near where they thought it was when they went public. So keep that in mind. And the last thing I want to say is, hey, in case you missed it, and I know I was kind of delinquent on this as well, uh, 20, uh, back, back on March 3rd, I think it was March 3rd, yeah, March 3rd, um, the House presented its Clean uh, Power Plan or Clean Future Act's um, uh, guidance, not guidance, but the bill on how they're going to look at becoming carbon neutral by 2050 and specifically for the power generation industry and electricity to be neutral, net neutral by 2035. And I think it's really interesting to dig into that um, and, and just to show you how much change is coming um, from the Biden administration and from this legislation. Now, a lot of people are going to dismiss it. I get it because the Senate is still on a filibuster. So you would never get to 60 votes. You would never get Republicans to go along with this thing. But what I've been tweeting out the last couple of days is about what happened with Joe Manchin over the weekend. Now he said, now this is, he's really important because it's Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia. And he said he would like to see a change in the filibuster where the people that are filibusting have to actually be up there talking the whole time instead of just saying, hey, we're gonna filibuster and you can't pass this piece of legislation. That's really interesting 
Because if that occurs, then that's a backdoor way to get to or get around the filibuster rule. Now, again, why does it matter? Because then you're going to start to see a lot of legislation that nobody thought would get passed, get passed. And pressure like you've never seen is going to come to bear on Joe Manchin uh, to make this happen. So we really want to keep an eye on that. Uh, it's exciting to see. And there's some big changes. Please start paying attention to some of these bills coming out of the House. They're extraordinary in their scope and their reach into the private sector and into major changes um, like HR1 that they have for the election. That one you really want to take a look at. Uh, Mike Pence wrote an op-ed recently where he was criticized for this by CNN and they were way off base. But thoughtful discussion about changing um, the election rules and changing the process so it's cleaner, so we don't have potential fraud is really important overall. Um, yes, there's some things that, you know, I think some people are very nervous about given what happened on January 6th. But overall, this is what we do as a society. We, we put out bills. We debate them uh, logically, passionately for sure, but also thoroughly. So don't just expect people to put out a bill and nobody, you know, say, oh, that's okay. We, we have to. No, it's not the way that this works. We're going to debate it. And that's really good for our country. And that's really good for our society. All right. Whew, that's a lot. That's it for me, Andy Bush. If you like these videos, uh, click on the subscribe button below. If you want to see uh, yesterday's, uh, you can click on that button down there. Um, you can get all my research at andrewbush.com. Again, I'm Andy Bush. Thanks for watching.